All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is, I don't know if this could be called a mountain painting, but it's got mountains in it. I'll say it that way. I got a, and the reason I say that, because I got a big tree that's going to cover a lot of this right here. My mountain is mainly going to be right here. And I want them kind of, I could almost do it with a brush instead of a knife, but I'll do it with a knife, I think. But, um, you know, it's just a different composition. These mountains are pretty far back. They're supposed to be, or fairly far back. And this is Indian yellow. Something completely different. This is a pretty big sky, as you can see. This is Indian yellow. This is the sunshine color, supposedly. And I got one good brush left. I've been painting all day. <laughs> oh, man. Painting all day. I got one clean brush of this size. Even though I had some pink left over from my last painting, I, I figured we might want to try something besides pink. And that's what we're doing. Indian yellow. This is a real big sky right here. I'm going to put some yellow ochre and some brown in it. It's going to be a yellowish tone to it today. Um, i got a big tree here. So let's go ahead and put some distant mountains in. I do not have liquid white down here. I only had it up here. So i got some distant color here. This is black, Prussian blue, and brown with some white in it. Um, I had this drawn out, but I don't know if I'm going to follow this exactly. Let's see. I don't want them real big today. I'm actually getting up here in the liquid white, so it'll have liquid white on it. I kind of wanted these maybe more rolling, perhaps. Rolling mountains. And you got to use a little more paint if you don't have liquid white. Yeah, this is a different type of composition. Something different. I mean, I like it the way it. Now, whether I like this painting, I don't know. <laughs> but the picture looks pretty cool. So we're going to try to do the best we can, like we always do. We always try to do our best. Bring that one kind of like so. I don't really need to. I'm going to bring it across, but, I, but I'm pretty sure I don't really need to because of that tree. That stretcher bar is always in the way. This is the stretcher bar. It's behind the canvas. I buy these cheap canvases, as I've told you before, if you watch my videos very much, because I paint a lot. I can't afford to buy them real expensive ones all the time. I mean, I buy them by... 20 packs. I buy them by the case. And, uh, you know, you get what you pay for. That is the truth. Yeah, I'll go ahead and run it on over. I honestly just don't think I need it. But I'll do it anyway. Some of it will be shown behind this tree. Some of it will not. I just don't know what will be showing. Yeah, see, those are more, these are more like rolling mountains, kind of sitting far back, further back than typical. That would be the smartest thing. Um, hmm. Let me find, let me, I'm going to make some collar for the water. I don't have any. Let's see. Oh, no, that's not bad. That's just phthalo blue and white. That's all I put in there. That's not bad. It's 
See, I'm not blending the bottom of these mountains today because I just don't need to. That's not what I'm going after. Because there's going to be trees right here. There's not a whole lot of water. I might bring it down a little further. Maybe to this point. You know, you make these decisions yourself. And I think I think it's okay to bring it down to here. I see nothing wrong with that. I'm probably not going to put a yellow reflection in the water. And the reason is the water is blue and that's yellow. It makes green. Okay, let's continue with our trees. Green, sap green, and black. We're just going to put a whole row down through here. Black, sap green. If we need to bring our water down more, we will. We just, we, you know, we're painting. I have, I have an idea. I have a picture to look at. It's, to me, it's just an idea because I change. I change as the painting changes. If I need to change something, then that's what I do. I don't follow pictures to the exact mark by no means. I change as I go. Because you need to. You can't, don't be stuck looking at a picture thinking, I gotta do, no, you don't have to do that. I think I'm gonna stop right there for a moment. Okay, let me get a paper towel. I got several of them today. I've been burning through them today. Let me wipe this brush off a little bit. Sun is coming down this way, this, or the light is, that's what we're gonna say. Uh, I'm just going to take some pure cad yellow light and I am just going to touch it on these trees just for an extra color if for no other reason. These trees are supposed to be kind of small and they are. They're just distant. Okay. Let's pull some reflections. Let me. Okay, I saved this one brush. Good for me. I remembered. <laughs> I saved this one brush. I'm going to hold these paper towels in my hand. Let's see how clean it is. And we're going to pull reflections right here. These are not going to pull quite as easy as they normally do because there's no liquid white. But we can do it. We can do it. See, these trees are small. I got something right stuck on there. Okay. Yeah, these trees are small trees. But we can get this much done. Put your mirrored look, go side to side. And be gentle, because if you're not, you're going to wipe your reflection off. I've done it before. It makes you feel kind of silly. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. I'm just going to throw some collars in like I typically do. And we're going to mix them up. Oh, uh, let's start. This is going to be mainly dirt, I think. Let's just see what happens. Let's just throw some collars in. I got a lot of colors I got to use up anyway. Some's going to be grass. This is cad yellow light with green and blue in it, just all mixed up. Oh, uh, let's take some ochre, throw some ochre in here. We like our ochre. Just keep it away from the water. We'll turn it green. Green's okay in the grass, but not in the water. Uh, what else do we got here? 
Heck, I don't know. Let's take some sienna. I got I got stuff I got to use up. See my palette? I'm just grabbing random collars. I've been painting just for hours now, so I got all kinds of collars. I'm just going to use everything, everything I got. We just want collar down, that's all. Oh, let's take some green. Throw some green in. Throw some green in over here. I really can't remember what's, I don't have the picture with me. I don't remember what's grass and what's not. Some, there's some dirt and there's some grass. But we don't care, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna throw it in. Here's some mountain collar, that's real dark. It's always dark toward the bottom. So instead of wasting it, we're going to use it. Always dark in the corners and at the bottom, typically. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's get us a big brush. This one has some blue in it, but I think it's okay. I mean, we ain't building a watch, are we? We just need to put some collar down. I'm going to go around this water real quick before I stick my brush in something I'll regret, like that dark blue at the bottom. Even though this brush has blue on it, it ain't that dark. It ain't that blue. That's not bad. Let's just go on down here and do this. Yeah, we're getting something done today, looks like. <laughs> Put collar on the canvas, it's pretty easy to do. It looks like you're getting a lot accomplished. Okay, that's a pretty good start right there. Yeah, I better not do that. All right, let's go ahead and start putting, I went ahead and put the grass in. I got me some dirt, a dirt path right here, just to save some time. You got, most of you have seen me do this before. And I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some highlight on this tree. And everything I do is gonna have a little bit of yellow in it. All my highlights are going to have a touch of yellow, maybe a touch of um, Indian yellow also. Let's see how this, let me just touch it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and these are going to be leaf trees today. I'm just going to go ahead and throw, I don't know where my leaves are going to be yet. I don't think it's going to be packed with leaves, but I just really don't know. See, that kind of blends in with the sky. Um, let's go ahead and throw one here. We'll see if we can fix that problem here in a little bit. I think when I put my leaves on, it'll help. Because I'm going to have leaves behind the tree also. You know, you always got leaves on the back of a tree. So... I think that might help solve that problem. I'll probably have to redo, redo some of this. I would say, but let's go ahead and do this for now. This all has a little touch of yellow in it, every bit of it. This is pretty dry. This has sat here for a day or so. When I say a day or so, I Maybe, I don't know, maybe one day, I know one day, maybe two. I lose track sometimes. <laughs> I sure do. Uh, I want these a smaller brush for some of these branches. I also took a liner brush and made some extra branches sticking out here. Liner brush really, really does wonder sometimes. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Probably don't need a whole bunch of yellow right in, perhaps in this area. But along this edge, I do. 
Let's go ahead and run her. I'm twisting my brush as I'm coming down to keep the paint flowing. Just to keep the paint flowing. Let's switch to, switch to some ochre. I'm just throwing collars in basically is what I'm doing. Actually, I can hold this palette. I didn't think I could since because sometimes I got to wipe my brush off, but I think it's okay. Just mixing up collars really is what I'm doing now. Let's take some burnt sienna. That goes really well with ochre. At least I think it does. Just throw in some different flavors in here, so to speak. So to speak. Just throw random stuff in. Here's some burnt umber, which is brown. Trees are already brown, so but uh, there's something different, different color. Just a different colors all. I usually use uh, Prussian blue on the back side, the shadow side of my trees, simply because I think it looks good. Well, I'm just going to keep doing this. I, I think I'm make, making this video a little too long. <laughs> I spent too much time when I started. I'm going to do this one, this one, and this one. The same way, except I'm going to put Prussian blue on the back side. And I will be back. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing, I went ahead and put some leaves in here, finished this tree, started highlighting on some of this. And now it's time to do some leaves. I'm just taking Prussian blue, a little green, a little black, and I am just throwing some stuff in. We just got to determine where we want them. We'll just cover up some of this stuff up here. Whatever you don't like is a good idea, just cover it up. <laughs> if you find an area that you don't like, cover the darn thing up. That's not cheating, that's part of painting. It's not that I don't like some of these areas, but I'm just saying if you didn't, you know, you could just cover them up with leaves. That's why sometimes I don't finish highlighting, working on these areas up in here because they're usually covered. My easel's bouncing. Yeah, that's better. Just throwing in some leaves is all I'm doing. This painting's taking a little while because when you do leaves like this, it, it takes a while. And these, I mean, these look fine. These, these, these are called comma stroke leaves. This is what I do these a lot, and then I'll do the one-inch brush sometimes if I'm in a hurry, <laughs> or sometimes it just you know it looks better. We just want to throw our leaves out here. Kind of monotonous, kind of boring, but has to be done. It's part of the painting. We don't have to put them in real thick if we don't want. You can do whatever you want. I mean, it's your painting. If you don't want to put them in thick, then no, it's, it's fine. It'll look all right. I may not put this these leaves in thick, maybe. Like this one. That one's pretty thick. But I may not do this one that way. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. It's a wait and see kind of a thing. 
But anyways, I just want to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to do this tree next. I'm just putting leaves on here. And um, then I'll bring you back. Oh, but after, let me go ahead and tell you this though before I leave. Um, after this, I'm going to use green and yellow. And then I have some, a mixture of Indian yellow, cad yellow, and white right here. And these are, this is for my topping. These are the final leaves that go on. I just want to tell you that. You know, they, you just put them on top, basically. So anyways, I'll be back. Okay. I finished this. I got some rocks in here. Now let's put some bushes in. I'm trying to think. This, this brush might be a little big. Let me get me a different brush. Yeah, this is my granddaughter's brush again. Um, let's see where we want them. I think I might want one right here. Just for color, this is going to be cerulean blue. If you guys remember, I bought a gigantic tube. I got to use it somewhere. <laughs> okay, this is just black. Um, I might want about three of them. Let's put one right here. A little bigger. It's closer. This is real wet. This is, I mean, this is the same day. I just put this grass in there a while ago. All that kind of stuff. Maybe one more right here. Yeah. Looks all right. One spot's as good as another, I suppose. Let me wipe this off. Okay, I'm going to take a little white. I think I'm going to go ahead and just mix it with cerulean blue. I usually put cerulean blue on there first, then put white on top. But let's see what this. Let's see how this looks. I can already tell that it blends in with the water, which I didn't really want. I didn't even think about it. That's okay. Let's see what this looks like. Very wet. It's a little darker. I should have should have just started with cerulean blue like I normally do. Stop trying to do different stuff. Okay. Now let me put a little touch of white on top of that. Just a touch. It's probably okay. All right, I'm going to put a shadow under these three, and that's a wrap. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and I put some, something was missing out of it, and I went ahead and put some fence posts in. And all I'm doing now is I'm just basically working on it. Just, And I think I might put some flowers on here. I'm not sure. But I'm just mixing up the collars a little bit. I just put these in a few minutes ago. So these are, I've got stuff on my brush here. These are pretty wet. But I just did this a couple minutes ago. Yeah, this is, I put, uh, I got some white. Put some yellow, mixed a little yellow, because this is a yellow picture, basically. Those are my highlights, and this is Prussian blue I'm messing around with here at the bottom. 
and I'm just uh, just kind of showing you what I'm doing here. I still got to put the shadows in and whatnot, but um, you know that's what we're doing. Let me take a little a little raw umber. Just kind of dark, put a little darkness in here, just here and there. I want this post here to be kind of dark, for sure. I'll have to go over these highlights again where I've been messing around with it. I've got it kind of, kind of messed up a little bit. I'll highlight them again. Raw umber is a pretty dark color. This should have a shadow type thing under it right here. Pretty dark color. I used to not use it raw. I'm raised to not use it much. And man, here lately I've been really using it <laughs> just about on everything. I'm going to go ahead and redo these highlights. Something a little more interesting for you. Like this right here. I'm just going to kind of run this. I'm twisting my brush as I'm bringing it down. Right here for sure. I just kind of, kind of blend it a little bit. See, that looks pretty good there. That post. I'm just kind of. I'm just gonna bring it down. I'm twisting my brush. I'll go across the top. These posts down here, I want kind of dark anyway, though. And then I just kind of, kind of blend it so that's not a straight line. All right, let's go ahead and finish up. I went ahead and put some flowers on here. I'm gonna do the same thing right here so you can watch me. I am going to take alizarin crimson, which I am almost out of. I wished I'd got some more, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna put us a flower right here. I always put this dark color. This is a lizard crown. It's really a dark red. And you got to pack it on these. You know, we just done these a few minutes ago. So, I mean, you got to pack this on if you want it to stick. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put Cad Red Light on top of these because it's one of my favorite colors and I just love it. I'm going to put one right here. This is, remember, this is a lizard and crimson. This is real dark. And you got to pack it on to get it to stick. Let's see, there's four. Let's put a few more if I can muster up enough crimson. Let's put one right here. Oh, uh, that's five. I'd like to have two more. Uneven numbers. That's what they like in painting for some reason. Oh, let's put one. Let's just put one right here on this rock. And one more. Oh gosh, I don't know. Maybe right here. Two, four, six, seven. Okay. That's seven. Let's take some CAD red light, which is maybe my favorite color and we're going to put this on here it's such a beautiful red we're going to pop it in here see it really when you put this cad red light on it really makes it pop so we got the dark color underneath the crimson we got the brighter color on top. And I'm going to touch a little bit of white on top of this just for an extra color. That'll give us three colors. Three colors is a minimum. Should be a minimum. Now let's do a little white. I got a paper towel in my hand. That's why I'm not holding the pouch. You got to keep wiping this off. Let's take a little white and just touch. 
just for an extra collar. This is, I like my paintings happy and bright and full of life. This is an example of that. I actually wasn't going to put this fence in. And I thought, yeah, you know what, it just make it that much better. To me, you know. One more. Hard to get some of this paint to stick, but that's okay. Okay, I have made some major changes on this one. I wanted to show you. You remember these white mountains that were back here? They do not fit the picture. <laughs> this painting is completely dry. This painting has been sitting around for a week or two. And I started looking and I thought, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I got rid of them. This, these are, this is just a hill with trees on it. This, that right there fits the picture. The, uh, the mountains, no. I just wanted to show you that. I'm just, I'm just finishing up, just flipping in a few leaves here and there. Just adding a little bit more is all I'm doing. Just some flutters, but I really wanted to show you this right here, what I've done. And that's an example of it's not too late to change it, even though this painting is dry. It's, you can still work on it. I mean, you, you can still do it. It's not as easy, but you can definitely still do it. So don't give up hope. You know, you can take an old painting and work on them a lot of times. Just, to me, this painting's old. It's been sitting around a couple weeks. I just haven't posted it yet, but I was getting ready to post it, and I, I started looking, and I thought, oh my gosh. Actually, I thought, Jeff, what, what were you thinking? That's literally what I thought. Sometimes, you know, in our minds, that, you know, things look better in our mind than it actually does on a canvas. And this is one of them. Those mountains did not belong. <laughs> So I changed it, and I think it looks fine now. Anyways, we're about ready to wrap this one up. This painting needs a home on YouTube. It's been sitting around way too long, so we're going to have to give it a home. Post it. Yeah, I'm just flipping in some extra stuff, just some floaty leaves, floating leaves. I guess that's what you could call it. But this painting here, I gotta say, has taken me a lot longer than normal. Look at the leaves. I mean, man, that stuff takes some time. I mean, you'll run into paintings like that sometimes. You'll start on one and it just seems like it goes on and on and on. But anyways, I just wanted to show you. I just want to show you what I've done right there. That's the change that I made. And as soon as I get done floating in some leaves, we'll be done. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. It's definitely different. And man, I tell you what, there's a lot of leaves in there. That takes a while. <laughs> hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.